Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And um, Shalom to the Hofi Lek that's also uh, doing his work uh, wholeheartedly in faith, true sincerity, and giving all diligence. Now, uh, the topic of this video is uh, going to be uh, centered around this um, this thing about you know these different organizations and these different uh, church organizations, should I say, that uh, basically they they take the scriptures where it speaks about. Um, You know, feeding the hungry and clothing the naked, healing the sick. You know, they take the scripture uh, literal, man. All right, they thinking that you know because just because you you know give clothes and set up food tables, and especially all the Israelite camps, man, all the Israelite camps are on that on the thing, especially ISUBK. Um, you know, setting up cookouts. Thinking that that's gonna deliver you, all right? You know, giving giving the food out to these uh, you know, these homeless jakes and the, and these people. You know, thinking that this this is gonna deliver you, man. But the thing is that you know, there's a scripture where it speaks about um, when thou doest good, know who you're doing good to. In other words, you know, we don't, we're not out there for, for all Israel, man. We're only out there for the election, 144,000. All right? And the ones that hear and understand, which is uh, part of the one-third number. Those, those are the ones that we we're only concerned with. We're not concerned with the rest of the nation of Israel. All right? So when we do good, and when we do good, um, you know, it's not us, you know, giving out food or money or anything like that. It's, it's us doing the work. All right, because it's spiritual, man. This this whole scripture where it speaks about doing all those things is is spiritual. All right, it's not it's not carnal. All right, in which these, these you know these people are completely carnal, man. They're not they're not spiritual at all. Okay, especially two thirds of our own people. Because uh, you know, I'm I'm sure that there are plenty of accounts to where, you know, a guy came up to the camp, you know, asked asked for money, you know, spot, you know, like a dollar, five dollars, or whatever. But the thing is, man, you don't know who that person is, man. All right, it might be a guy, you know, trying to get his fix, or um, you know, a guy trying to buy some beer or some liquor or whatever just to get drunk. And these people are like, okay, I gave you five dollars, you know, a dollar or whatever. Not knowing that that guy probably, is, you know, about to go to a liquor store or, you know, go buy some drugs or whatever, man. All right. So that's why the scriptures say, when thou do us good, know who, thou, know who you do good to. And see, us here at Great Millstone, you know, we one of the brothers, you know, we might spot somebody, you know, just, just out of charity. You know, we give them like a... Like some money or whatever, but mainly we're just out there just to just to give give out the word, man. That's that's our main concern. All right. Our our, our main concern and our main objective is to is to uh, push this word, man. All right. Now there's a scripture where uh, Peter um, was about to go into the temple, right? And um, there was a person that was, that was there asking for asking for uh, arms, man. And then Peter told him, um, you know, um, you brothers already know what the scripture is. He um, looked on him, right? So Peter told him to look on us, right? And uh, he he had his hand out, you know, expecting something. <laughs> you know, that's how Jake is today, man. Jake. You know, uh, when they see us, you know, they think that we're out there. You know, they go to us and they're thinking that, 
you know, out of the kindness of our hearts, we're going to give them, you know, $5 or $10 or something, man. All right. But Peter told him and said, look, man, gold and silver, we have, we have none. All right. But what we do have, you know, roughly paraphrasing, what we do have is something that's worth more than that, man. And that's what we tell each Jake, man. When we tell them that, you know, that they don't, they don't want to hear that, man. All they want is is just to get get whatever they're gonna get for that day. That's it. That's why we say fuck the two thirds, man. Okay. And it made you how about Shmi I try to destroy them. Okay. So with that, man, let me get the book of Matthew chapter ten. At um. Uh, uh Slacky. But man, like I said before, man, doing doing all those things what your house shot told us to do. You know, clothe the naked, feed the hungry, heal the sick. That's us doing this work, man. Alright. Now um, This is the book of Matthew chapter ten, verse five. It says, These twelve your house shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. And into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, so that's a cut on these uh, guys talking about you know we got to go to the Gentiles, you know uh, they talk about these other nations. All right, which they they completely forgot about this scripture. All right, they just put this scripture on the back burner. But here it is today, man. We, we continually bringing out this precept. And among other precepts to cut these guys man that's verse uh, 7 and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely you have received freely give so there it is right there man it says heal the sick all right and which we do when we go out and do the work all right, and which hey, we also do do that too, man. Especially in this truth, you know, we uh, give you knowledge on the uh, on some certain herbs, you know, to um, heal your body. And this this work is a form of receiving herbs, man. All right, because this this heals your spirit through the spirit and power of your high by Shemiah Shai. All right. So that falls in line with doing the work, man. You got to be able to do the work in order to, in order to uh, give out that wisdom, so they can be healed. All right. It says cleanse the lepers. All right. Raise the dead, and which we do when we go out and do the work. That falls behind uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven about the valley of the dry bones. All right. He told Ezekiel to go and prophesy to the. And he asked him. He said, "Can these bones live?" All right. And as he prophesied, the bones came together. All right. And the flesh came upon the bones. In other words, that represents uh, that represents the uh, giving them the nationality. All right. The true nationality, should I say? And then he said, um, it says, even though the flesh and, and the bones came together, um, still there was no breath in them. All right. And he said, he prophesied, and um, he prophesied so that the breath can enter into them, so they can live. All right. See, right now, man, two thirds of our people are dead right now, man. All right. They're dead. They're spiritually dead. They, you know, they're not physically dead. Because if you go in the book of Revelation, it speaks about um, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt All right, Which this place is, is known as Sodom and Egypt It's spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt Alright Because this place perpetuates sodomy Alright, you know, um, faggots, freaks 
and um, also represents Egypt too, because Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage, in which our people are still in, in captivity to this day under the so-called white man, which is uh, Esau or Edom, which is their biblical nationality. All right. Now, Rena says, "Cast out devils." All right. In other words, un well, unclean spirits first, of all, first and foremost, right? Because when we go to out there and speak, man, all kinds of demons come around the camp, man. All right. So when we go out there and prophesy, man, we <laughs> tell them what's what, man. Hey, we're, we're not we're not up there to play around, man. Uh, you know, we're not some choir boys. So when demons come up, we curse them out, man. All right. And um, per adventure, we um, send curses up on them. All right. <clears throat> now it says, um, "Freely you have received, freely give." So we we've, we've been. Look, man, we didn't have to go and, um, you know, pay a price, you know, $50 per lesson or $100 per lesson. And I can name one person that actually does that, you know. <laughs> Got, you know, basically dress up like the purple dinosaur, Barney. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, we don't put no no price on this truth, man, this knowledge. We get we give it out freely, man. We're not asking for, for no money. Pastor Elder Gabar recently um, made a video uh, concerning that man. He he mentioned that. He said, "Man, look, we don't we don't um, ask for no money. You know, no no price or nothing like that. We don't ask you to, to give fifty dollars, you know, a hundred dollars or whatever. You know, like Scripture say, man, freely freely I receive, freely give. So we freely receive this. So we're gonna freely give it, give it out to you, man. The only thing that you'll be paying for is your time. That's it. All right. That Scripture where it says, uh." come buy wine and milk with no money and no price how are you able to buy milk and honey with no money and no price with your time that also goes into the parable of the ten virgins man the five that were foolish told the five that were wise to give us of the oil but the five that were wise told the foolish to go and go to the sellers and buy for yourselves all right now, verse 9, this is where it gets juicy right here, man. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses. So, we don't go out there, man. We don't take no no big, you know, big dollars with us, man. He said, <laughs> like it says right here, provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses. All right? In other words, man, don't, you know, don't, don't take, you know, don't take too much money out there, man. All right? As verse 10 also it says no script for your journey and the word script means uh wallet all right so i said look man don't take your wallet out there and you know or, or whatever you know don't worry about bringing you know bringing money out you know you know big or should i say big big books uh, like I, I like to put it yeah, don't worry about bringing, um, you know, big dollars out to the camp, man, because the main thing is just doing the work. Now, if you're uh, out there to, um, you know, spot the Akim, the brothers, some money, then, you know, take, you know, take some dollars out there with you, man. All right, whatever whatever you feel that's, that's what's in your heart to give. But as far as, like, bringing, like, uh, you know, maybe like $200, $300, $500, man, don't, man, don't be doing that, man. All right, because like I said before, man, we're not we're not out there to uh, give money out to these to these people, man. All right, we're only concerned with the, with uh, the brotherhood. All right, so if you're ever gonna give out money or anything like that, man, it should be for for the um, this this ministry. All right. So uh, continuing on, man, it says neither shoes nor yet staves for the workman is worthy of his meat. All right. The workman is worthy of his meat. So 
the Lord is saying, look, don't worry, man. Just go out there and do the work. Okay? In other words, he says he's going he's gonna to provide for you. Because like it says right here, man, a workman is worthy of his meat. All right? In other words, the workman is worthy of his reward. Okay? So that's pretty much it on that. Uh, let me grab this uh, next precept. I think it's Isaiah 58. Yep. So this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. It says, uh, Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free? that you break every yoke and that's what we do man all right because this is the truth and what does the truth do the truth sets you free all right so and that truth falls falls in line with Yahweh Shah man because Yahweh Shah is the truth all right Yahweh Shah said I'm the way the truth and the light all right verse 7 said it's not is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? What, <laughs> this is this is the bread that we're dealing out to the hungry. All right. This word is known as 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 the uh, the bread of life that leads into everlasting life. All right. And it says, uh, "And that thou bring the poor that I cast out to thy house." All right. And we looking for the poor, man. We're not looking for the rich and the famous. All right, because you got your consolation. We only we only dealing with the poor. All right. Why is that, man? Because the poor are the ones that are, that are humble, man. Okay. It says when thou seest the naked, right? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. So. Us doing this work, man. We're, we're covering the naked with clothing, man. This is this is the garment that we're giving them. This knowledge, all right. This knowledge and this wisdom. This is the this is the uh, the garment that uh that we that we're giving them, man. All right. Actually, this is a wedding garment. All right, this follows on that line where the scripture says, uh, "Friend, where is thy garment? Or whence whence comes thou with no wedding garment?" Okay. So yeah, man. Uh, it's like it. Uh, lost my place. Oh, so that's. Oh wait, I got one more verse. Uh, verse eight. It says, uh, "Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of Yahweh by Shimei Shai shall be thy re reward." All right. So it says, "Our light is breaking forth, man. We go out there in the highways and byways, man. We're the light that shines in the darkness, man." All right. And we were out there on the highways and byways, man. It's like, you know, we're, we're, we're lively when we're out there, man. We're lively stones. All right? Scripture speak about that. About how you are a lively stones and, and built up. Okay? And it says, um, the glory of Yahweh by Shemel Shai shall be our re reward, man. Okay? And which that's going to be amplified when that time comes, man. When our hell breaks loose. Because see, right now, you're only seeing a portion of the of, of uh, the glory and the power of your high about Shemel Shah when we're out there. Okay? So, um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it on that. Um, that closes out this uh, lesson. 
hopefully you uh, you members of the hopefully lick were edified by this video and until um, next time once again I want to give all praise honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that continually rule very well that's still doing his work man Still doing his work, man, and, and giving our diligence. And double honors are due unto them, man. And uh, much due honors to the Hofi Lick that's also doing the same things, man. That's continually pushing. That's cl that's clothing the naked. <laughs> clothing the naked. Feeding the hungry. All right, cleansing the lepers. Casting out devils, man. All right. <laughs> to raise raising the dead, I, I must do honest to Yaakim, man. Okay, so with that, I'll go say shalom.